morning. This is harvest time. In Jesus' day, when someone wanted to harvest a field, they would go into town and look for workers. So this group of eager young men would wait on the corner for someone to come along, a farmer to come along and say, hey, would you like a job? And of course they would say, yes, that's why we're here. And he would say, okay, I'll, give, I'll pay you a day's wages. So the keen ones he would take along and have them work. Man, that's gonna be hard work all day long, harvesting in the field. Well, it wasn't very long before the farmer could tell this is not going to be enough. So he went back to town and he said, is there anybody here who wants to work for a day's wages? Well, these guys hadn't found anything yet. So they said, sure, we'll come. Oh, these guys were so relieved because they knew that there was no way they were going to be able to finish, but they had some extra help. So they said, great, come on out and help us out. So they had another group of guys working and working in the fields. Well, wouldn't you know it, it gets to be high noon, really hot. These guys have been working for hours already. These guys have already put in a good day's work too, but the field has lots more to do. So the farmer does what any good farmer does. He goes and gets some more help. Now, there were some who really didn't get started very early. I don't know if they were tired, didn't have good hats or whatever. Anyway, they, they came. And then there was one or two sluggers who came right at the end of the day when all the work was done. Okay, so now what? Well, they have to be paid, right? So the farmer gets out his wages. Now this is going to be good. And he says to the last one, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to pay you a day's wages. One, two, three, four. Thank you very much. This guy feels pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he does that from the very last one that he hired to the very first he takes out his money. So the guys that are in the field who've been there all day, they see this happening and they go, wow, is that farmer ever generous? Four pennies for, for those guys who started so late. We're going to get so rich because we put in like 10 times as many hours as they did. They were just barely here. But something weird happened because the next group of people, the farmer comes and he takes out exactly the same number of wages. And he puts that in everybody's. By now they're starting to wonder, oh, maybe he made a mistake. Maybe, maybe he didn't understand what was going on. Those guys were only here for a couple of hours. But no, the farmer gave them the same wages. So then the ones who came early in the morning, quite early in the morning, the second group, they watched. Now what's gonna happen? Same amount goes into them. And so it went. Everyone was paid exactly the same wages. Now, remember last week we talked about the brothers were very, very jealous because their brother Joseph was treated better than they were. They ended up doing some nasty things like selling him into slavery. Well, something happens when people feel the opposite way. They feel like they deserve to be treated better. So these last workers looked around. You want to look at these boys? They were majorly ticked. They were really ticked off and they said, hey, we worked way longer. We worked through the heat of the day. We put in many, many hours and you're paying us the same as you paid those guys back there who hardly did any work. This is highly unfair. We're not being treated right. The farmer said, 
didn't you agree to work for a day's wages? Yeah, of course we did. Didn't I pay you a day's wages? Yeah. So why are you arguing with me? I agreed to pay everyone a day's wage, whether they came first or whether they came last. And I treated you all the same. And that's how God is with us. Whether we've known him a long time or whether we've just met him recently, he gives us grace, each one the same. His love is sufficient for all of us.